if you would please me, if you would please me when I've passed away, let not your grief and bitter you be brave. Turn worth full courage from my mounded grave and smile upon the children at their play. Let them make merry in their usual way. Do not with sorrow those young lives enslave or steal from them the fleeting joys they crave. Let not your grieving spoil their happy day. Live on as you have lived these many years. Still let your soul be gentle and be kind. I never like to see those eyes in tears. Weep not too much that you must stay behind. Share in the lives of others as you'd share if God had willed it still to leave me there. And one of the things you find in the religious world is the type of fanaticism that it's about the individual. So when the spiritual leader dies, they abandon the path, or something happens to the individual that's other than, you know, they've proved that the path isn't quite as much as theirs as they would have claimed or something. Um, or they make it about a particular individual following the path and, you know, that sort of thing. So try to set things up that you're encouragements in life, the good and truth to it, that people continue with these things when you're gone. 